Hey, it's Olivia with Screencastify. This time, we'll be talking about using Screencastify to introduce new tech tools. Introducing new tech tools to students and families can be a doozy. But with Screencastify, it's easier because you can use all of our tools to make the videos really clear and then share them so families can watch them over and over again. When using Screencastify to introduce new tech tools, you have a couple of options. You can choose your browser tab or desktop depending on where the new tech tool lives. You're definitely going to want your microphone enabled because that will allow students to hear your explanation. You may want to embed your webcam so they can see you also. You'll definitely want to show drawing tools so you can draw student and parent focus to certain parts of the screen. Then click record. Using the Screencastify toolbar, teachers can create user-friendly videos that allow parents and students to understand otherwise tricky tech tools. The first thing I like to do is use my focus mouse to draw user attention to parts of the screen. For instance, when I type in a website in the address bar. Then I use my click mouse to make sure students know exactly where I'm clicking because a red circle will pop up wherever I click and stay until I release the mouse. I can use my rectangle tool to make sure students know exactly which part of the screen I'm talking about. And then I can use the pen tool in a number of different colors to circle parts of the screen, point out important things that students may need to know, or annotate in a number of different ways. Let's open our video in Screencastify Edit so I can show you one more way to make sure that your tech tool tutorial is easy to follow and clear. While I'm recording videos for tech tutorials, I love the drawing toolbar. But after I've finished recording, I love to use the zoom tool in Screencastify Edit to make sure that students are drawing their attention to the right part of the screen. I can resize the box that I'm zooming and select how long I'd like something to be zoomed in on. Then I'm ready to go.